to make your way there. You can. And just take a nice full breath in through your nose. And then exhale, side out through your mouth. And do that one more time. Full, deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. So this class today is really just all about feeling good. Uh, for me, I feel like I've, I've been working out, I've been exercising, running, doing yoga, but then when I'm not actually exercising, I'm doing a lot of sitting around, so I find that I'm pretty tight, pretty sore, and so this is just something that, that I needed, was just to move my body in a way that felt, felt really good. And then an intention for this class today is just to see the beauty in not even just this flow, but in the, everything that's happening around us. So I work as a flight attendant, most of you know that, and this week was the first week that as a flight crew, we were required to wear masks. Passengers actually are not required until next week, which is kind of crazy, but it is what it is. And it was just really interesting to see the different reactions to different crew members about this requirement. I felt like a lot, there was a lot of resistance on one side and on the other side there was a lot of taking offense, um, feeling disrespected by the people that were kind of on the side that were resisting. And I was just watching this noticing and I was like, wow, like we all really have a choice in how we handle this. And at the same time this week I watched the season finale of Westworld and Dolores, one of the main characters, her recurring theme this season and kind of the big theme for the finale was that some people choose to see the ugliness in this world and I choose to see the beauty. And I just thought that was really poignant and direct as to what is happening, happening with us. We have the choice. We can see the ugliness. We can be the ugliness. We can be the people that are so mad that we have to bag our own groceries, that are so angry that we have to wear a mask, that are so angry that someone else is more worried about the economy than health. To be the person that's so mad that someone else is worried about health and the economy. Or we can take a step back and just look at the good in everyone. We all have different fears. We all have different stressors. And so let's just try to see the beauty. And at the same time, let's try to be the beauty. Try to be kind, compassionate, and loving to, to everyone. And just take a step back and not get heated, not judge, and not get angry. Just take a couple more breaths here in your child's pose. Start to find your ujjayi breath. Slight constriction in the back of the throat as you breathe out. Start to even out your inhales and the exhales if anything that I just talked about maybe struck a chord with you and made you, your heart rate start to race. And then if your music is nearby, you can go ahead and hit play on that. So mine will be playing kind of quietly, so hopefully not distracting to yours. You can hear my voice over it. And we'll stay in child's pose, but bring your hands next to your hips so that there's no work in the shoulders. Forehead stays down. We'll start to add a little bit of movement as you inhale. Just rise up into hero's pose, sitting on your knees. Lengthen through the crown of the head. And bring your hands behind your back, fingers face your knees, plant the hands flat on the ground. Then inhale, lift your chest up, draw your shoulder blades together, open up the heart, let the head hang back. Good, full breath in here. Then exhale, start to close off the chest, pull the belly down. Inhale, rise back to a seat. Exhale, forehead to the mat, child's pose, hands stay next to the head. We'll speed that up a little bit as you inhale, rise, lift up. Exhale, hands behind the back, press them down into the ground. Inhale, open the chest, draw the shoulder blades together. Exhale, start to pull the belly in as you slowly rise. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, child's pose, forehead to the ground. Three more rounds of that, inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands plant. Inhale, open the chest. 
Exhale, round the body, pull everything in. Inhale, move through center. Exhale, child's pose, round the spine. These last two, you can just move at your own pace. You can make the movement a little bit more fluid. But just feel the difference between opening up the chest and rounding the spine. Let the breath stay slow and steady. And then let the mind start to quiet. Let the judgment start to leave. Last round. We'll meet in child's pose, let the forehead come down, and then walk the hands back towards the long edge of the mat. Lift the heels of the hands, weight the shoulders up a little bit. And then from here, just slide the body forward, come into tabletop pose. Take a moment here, move through some cat cows, inhale, lift the crown of the head, lift the tailbone. Exhale, round the spine, look at your belly. You can add side to side movement of the hips. Again, just feeling really good, being kind with your body, seeing the beauty in what the body can do. Three more breaths. And then we'll meet in neutral tabletop pose, spread the fingers wide. Reach the right leg straight back. The toes are still on the ground, and then press the right heel towards the back of your mat. Press into the heels of the hands and feel a really nice stretch in the right calf. Probably feels really good if you took Sybil's scalp this morning. Stretch that out. Neck is long, chin away from the chest. And then you're going to turn the left shin out at an angle. Bring the sole of the right foot to the ground, and then reach the right arm to the sky for a modified side plank. Then reach the right arm over the right ear. Find length in the right side of the body. And again, just feel the chest open. Feel the space being created. Full long breath in. And deep breath out. On your next inhale, rise up, gate pose. Slide the right hand down the right thigh and reach towards your right toes. Good, keep drawing the left shoulder back open in the chest. Good, move back through center. Left hand comes to the ground. Right hand comes to the ground, tabletop pulse. One round of cat cow, inhale, head, tailbone lift. Exhale, round the spine. Neutral tabletop pose, left leg reaches back. Toes stay on the ground, press the heel back, press into the heels of the hands. Feel the stretch in the left calf, the grounding of the palms into the earth. Feel that safety and stability there. And then swing the right leg out to the right. Top of the right foot is on the ground. Left foot plants down. Left arm sweeps up, find that stretch. Modify side plank pose, lift out of the right shoulder. And then reach the left arm forward, pinky slightly lower than the thumb. Draw the left shoulder back, breathe into the left side of the body. Gaze under the left armpit, full breath in. Stay for the breath out. Use your inhale, rise, gate pose. Left hand slides down the left thigh, right arm reaches overhead towards the left foot. Good, keep the chest open. Last breath here. And come back through center, both hands come through the ground, tabletop pose. Last time, inhale, head, tailbone lift. Exhale, round the spine. Good, and then start, tuck the toes. Walk your hands back so that your hips sit on your heels. And right here, you'll start to feel a stretch in the bottoms of the feet. It might be not the most comfortable thing, but we won't be here too long. Inhale, reach the arms overhead, interlace the fingers. Exhale, body drops to the right, little lateral stretch. Good, inhale, back through center. Exhale, body drops to the left. Good, inhale through center. And then reach the arms straight forward. You're gonna use your arms as kind of a counterweight. Take a breath in to prepare. And then as you exhale, heels drop to the ground. Fold over, nice, easy forward fold. Let the head hang, take a moment, pedal out the knees. 
We'll do that a few more times. So if you didn't get it that time, you'll get it the next three or four. On your next inhale, reach your arms overhead, full body stretch, look up. As you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen, find a flat back. Exhale, bring your hands to the ground, roll onto your toes, drop your shins to the mat so we're back in that hero's pose. Inhale, lift your hips up, baby camel, shoulder blades down the back, lift the chest. Exhale, hips to the heels. We'll flow that now. Inhale, reach the arms straight forward. Exhale, forward fold. Drop the heels back, hinge at the hips. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, plant the hands. Exhale, lift the heels, lower the shins down. Inhale, baby cam. Camel, lift the chest. Exhale, hips to the heels. Inhale, arms reach counter. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms reach overhead. Exhale, fold, let it go. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, plant the hands. Exhale, shins to the ground. Inhale, baby camel, open the chest. Exhale, hips to the heels. Inhale, arms reach forward, prepare. Exhale, heels down, forward. Two more times, inhale, reach up, grow tall. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, knees to the ground. Inhale, baby camel. Exhale, hips to the heels. Inhale, arms reach forward, prepare. Exhale, forward fold. This is it, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen, plant the hands. Exhale, lift your heels, drop your shins. Inhale, baby camel, lift the chest. Exhale, hips to the heels. Inhale, arms reach forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, let it go. This time, inhale, walk your hands forward, find your high plank and pause. Good, take a moment here, full breath in. Exhale, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here, pedal out the feet, nod the head, yes or no. Sorry about that little disruption. I guess Josh had a frosted flakes emergency. And then settle into stillness in your downward facing dog. Lift your tailbone up and back. Press through your index finger and your thumb. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, bend the knees, stack the hips. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, step the right foot next to the right thumb. Drop your left knee down to the ground. Inhale, Anjani Asana, low crescent lunge. Reach the arms up and overhead. Draw your left hip forward, pull your right hip back. And then lengthen through the spine, reach the arms up. Do what feels good. Open the chest. Collarbone is broad. We feel the space in the left hip flexor. Take one more full inhale. Exhale, hands come to the ground. Half split pose, pull the right hip back. Lift the right toes, pull them towards the right shin. Inhale, get long through your spine. Exhale, fold over the right leg. It may feel good here to turn the right foot toes to the left or the right. Just play around with it. Not a lot of technical cues today, so enjoy that. Rebend the right knee. Plant the sole of the right foot to the ground. Bring the right hand inside of the right foot. Lift the left knee, tuck the left toes. Wide leg and forward fold. Start to walk your hands towards the left. Turn your toes towards the left. And then do what feels good. It may feel good to shift side to side. It may feel good to go upside down. Or it might feel good just to hang here in stillness. Starting to find some space in the hamstring, space in the spine. Let the head hang, let the neck relax. 
Next inhale, lift halfway, flat back. Exhale, walk your hands towards your left foot. Find a lunge at the back of the mat. Drop the right knee down to the ground. Inhale, low crescent, reach the arms overhead. Just a breath in right here. Exhale, hands frame the left foot. Right hand grounds down, left arm sweeps, find a twist. So option to keep the right knee down or tuck the toes, lift it up. Whatever serves you in this moment, whatever feels good. Keep lengthening through the spine. Keep drawing the left shoulder back. Take one more full inhale. Exhale, left hand to the ground. Step the right foot forward to meet the left. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold forward, let it go. Inhale, arms reach overhead, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, step your left foot back to your lunge. Simple flow to the front of the mat as you inhale, rise, crescent. Exhale, open, warrior two. Stay with me here, goddess pose. Keep the hips low, turn the toes out, reach the arms overhead, open the chest. Warrior two to the left foot, bend the left knee, sink in. Good, inhale, reverse it, reach back. Exhale, hands frame the left foot, step back, plank pose. Breathe in and plank. Exhale, all the way down to the belly. Inhale, lift your chin and chest, cobra. Exhale, come back down. Twice more, inhale, lift your chin, lift your chest, maybe make your cobra a little bigger. Exhale, all the way down. Last time, inhale, cobra pose, open the chest. Exhale to your belly. Inhale through tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a long breath in and a long breath out. So we'll come back to that simple flow each time and just substituting goddess in for star pose. That'll be your breath to movement. Use it to quiet your mind. Make sure you haven't lost your breath there. Left side, inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, bend, stack, open. Inhale, straighten the legs square the hips. Exhale, left foot steps next to the left thumb. Right knee drops down to the ground. Inhale, low lunge, arms reach. If it doesn't feel good with your arms overhead, bring them somewhere where it does. Maybe a shoulder stretch with them interlaced. Hidden prayer. Inhale, reach back through center. Exhale, hands to the ground, half split. Left hip draws back, left toes lift up. Play around here, take a moment. Feel what's happening in your body and just be with that. Work out those end of the week kinks. And then re-bend the knee, plant the foot. Tuck the right toes, lift the right knee. Left hand inside, left foot. Straighten the left leg, walk the hands towards the right side of the mat. Wide legged forward fold here. So toes turn in just a little bit. And again, about three breaths, just feeling good. Slight bend in the knees if you hyperextend. Taking time to really feel the body in these postures and these poses today. Next, inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, hands walk towards the right foot. You're on the ball of the left foot. Left knee drops down, inhale, arms reach, just a breath. Exhale, hands plant. Left hand grounds down, right arm to the sky, take your twist. Belly pulls away from the right thigh, and then back knee down or lift it up. You can bind, half bind. Little, little bend in the left elbow. Try not to lock it out if you have that tendency to do that. Nice stretch in the outside of the right hip here is what I'm feeling and it just feels good. Last breath in. Exhale, right hand down. Step the left foot forward to meet the right as you inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms reach, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Here comes that flow. Exhale, right leg steps back. Inhale, rise, crescent. Exhale, 
exhale, open, warrior two. Stay low in the hips, work it. Goddess, arms reach up. Exhale, warrior two, front of the mat. Inhale, reverse, reach back. Exhale, hands to the ground, step back, plank. Good, breathe in, plank. Exhale all the way down. One more time with those dynamic cobra. As you inhale, lift your chin, lift your chest. Exhale back to the mat. Inhale, lift, kick the elbows, squeezing in. Exhale, lower. Last time, inhale, cobra, bhujangasana. Exhale to the mat. Inhale, tabletop pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, take a long, deep breath in. Observe your body. And then take a deep breath out. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, step walk, float your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. The opportunity to fly here, crow pose. Hands on the ground, spread the fingers wide. If you don't want to do crow, don't do crow. We'll meet you in down dog. Just do what you want to do that feels good right now. For crow, fingers wide, knees into the armpits, gaze forward. Once you're there, draw the big toe sides of the feet together. Stay with it. Five full breaths. Pull your belly towards your spine. And an option to float it back, to step it back to vinyasa or not, we'll meet in downward facing dog. Find your way there. Good, and then take a breath in. Good, and a breath out. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, knee to the nose, maybe give it a smooch. Inhale, push it back. Right knee, right upper arm, lift it high. Press it back. Right knee to left upper arm. Press it back. Step the right foot next to the right thumb. Spin the left foot down, use your inhale, rise, warrior two pose. Sink in here, draw the feet energetically towards each other. Draw the pelvic floor up, the belly in. Gaze at the right middle finger, find your strength, your stability here. Sink a little lower in the front leg. And then inhale, reverse it. Flip the right hand, reach back. Exhale, side angle. Right forearm, right thigh. Left arm reaches to the sky and then over the left ear. So if you want a half bind, a full bind, if you want a bird of paradise, take it. You have five breaths to do what your body needs in this space, in this context. Collarbone broad. Chest open. Breath steady. If you've gone somewhere else, come back the same way you went in. Meet us in extended variation. And then use your inhale to rise, star pose. Toes out, arms up, open the chest, get big, take up space. Warrior two, back of your mat. Bend the left knee, sink in. Inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten the left leg, right hand sides down and the right thigh, reach back. Triangle pose as you breathe out. Press the right hip back, tick tock the arms. Stack the shoulders. Draw the right shoulder back. And then lots of options, a block, a book, something under the left hand if you want a little more support. If you want to work your core a little bit more, you can reach the arms forward. Three more breaths. Then use your core, use your inhale, rise, warrior two pose, bend the left knee. Bring the hands down, frame the left foot, spin to the ball of the right foot. Reach the left arm to the sky, gaze up, take the twist. And then gaze comes to the right hand, we transition to side plank. Roll to the pinky toe side of the right foot, stack the feet, drop the knee, do what you need. So for me, feeling good does mean a little bit of work, so we're going to add a couple hip dips here. So just dropping the right hip down and then lifting it back up. Working the side of the body not too long. It's about 10 seconds, so stay with it for five. Four, you got it, three, 
two. And then look at your right hand. Step your left foot forward so you're back in your lunge. Good, right foot steps forward to meet the left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, chair pose, drop your hips. Good, weight is in the heels. Squeeze the outer glutes in. The hands can be at your heart, they can frame the ears. Find strength in this pose here. Take three more breaths, maybe drop the hips a little lower, maybe wiggle the toes, lift them up. On your next inhale, right foot stays grounded, left leg lifts, single leg mountain. Cross the left ankle over the right knee, drop the hips back down, find a figure four stretch. So really nice opening in the left outer hip, which is definitely an area where I know I felt a lot of tension these last few weeks. Well, all the time, let's be real. You can stay here, you can take the arm balance. Three more breaths. So good, you guys, on your inhale, rise, single leg mountain. Exhale, warrior three, left leg presses back. Lots of options with the arms, heart center. I like to kind of bring them to my hips to keep my attention there. Inside of the left thigh is spinning up, left toes dialing down. Either way, neck is long, spine is neutral. Last couple breaths and then we'll find that flow back to the front of the mat. Nothing fancy, super simple. Last breath. Slight bend in your right knee. Drop the ball of the left foot down. Inhale, rise, crescent lunge. Exhale, open, warrior two. Stay low, goddess pose. Warrior two to the left. Inhale, reverse, reach back. Exhale, hands to the mat, regular vinyasa this time, or take cobras or skip it. Downward facing dog. Good, you guys, full breath in. Long breath out. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to the nose, give it a smooch. Inhale, push it back. Left knee, left upper arm. Inhale, push it back. Left knee, right upper arm, lift it high. Push it back. Step it through, right in the center of the hands. Right foot grounds, open, Vera two. Settling in here, finding a moment of stillness after those Little core knee thingies. <laughs> Shoulders relax. Strong, steady, drishti. Left knee is drawing towards pinky toe side of the left foot. Stay with it. Good. Next inhale, reach back, reverse. Parge the Kanasana side angle, left forearm, left thigh. And then you go where you want to go. The world is your oyster, home yoga. Like, I mean, why would you do anything that you didn't want to do, really? But you know your options, you can try. We always try to be balanced from side to side, but we also recognize that that doesn't always happen. So just be okay with that. Be gentle, be kind with yourself. So good, last two breaths, you guys. See, we're all like, the bind doesn't really feel good. We're gonna take extended variation, I feel ya. <laughs> Good, big inhale, start, open up, reach up, look up. Warrior two to the right, sink in. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten the right leg, long right side body. Triangle pose, tick tock the arms, pop the left hip back. And then again, notice if this pose feels good and if it doesn't, what do you need to change in your own body to make it feel good? Three more breaths. Good, next inhale, re-bend the right knee, rise, warrior two. Exhale, hands frame the right foot, spin to the ball of the left foot, pause. Left hand grounds down, right arm reaches, take your twist. And then side plank pose, Vashi Sasana. So same option here, I'm gonna do those little hip dips. And even though my hips are dropping, I'm still lifting out of the left shoulder, so I'm still finding strength in that joint. 
this doesn't feel good, you can hold. You can drop the bottom knee. Stay here for three, two. Gaze at the left hand. We're bringing the right foot forward to our lunge. Step it there. And then left foot steps forward to meet the right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Uskatasana, drop your hips. If you're keeping the arms extended, spin the pinkies in just a little bit. And again, weight in the heels. It's a neutral spine here. So your booty is not popping way out, but you're not like tucking it so much that your belly is really round. And kind of find a place in between. Two more breaths. Left foot is going to stay where it is this time. Ground into your left foot as you inhale, rise, one leg mountain, right leg lifts. Figure four, cross the right ankle over the left knee. Drop the hips down. You want to pull the right toes towards the right shin to help protect the right knee. Arms where you want them. The focus right now is on that outer right hip. Finding space there. And going to a place where you feel good in the stretch, not so far where you're like dying and you just want to get out. Good, next inhale, rise one leg, mountain, lift your right leg. Vera three, press the right leg back. So again, make this pose your own. Hands can come to the ground if that's what's gonna feel best in your body. Dial the right toes down, spin the right thigh up. Crown of the head reaches away from the right heel. Take another full breath in. Stay for the breath out. Enjoy the strength in this posture. And then slight bend in your left knee as you land. Crescent lunge. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, warrior two. Stay low, goddess pose. Warrior two to the right. Inhale, reach back, reverse. Exhale, hands to the ground. Vinyasa or don't. Find downward facing dog. Take a long breath in. And a steady, long breath out. Good. Inhale. Bend the knees. Exhale. Feet to your hands. Step, walk, or float. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Reach your arms up. Exhale. Hands to your heart. Drop your hips. Find chair pose here. Bring your hands to your heart center. And then take a twist. Left elbow to the outside of the right thigh, palms press. If you want to split your arms, you can. If you want an open arm twist, that's there for you as well. And then notice, if, you, if keeping the knees really in line feels really bad on your lower back, then let them move a little bit. Keep the crown of the head away from the tailbone. And then ground into your right foot. Look down at your right foot. Come to your left toes, lift your left heel. And then lift your left foot up so you're like a little, I don't know, bird on a wire, I think. And then with control, step the left foot back, twisted crescent punch. So the left knee can stay lifted if you're a little fatigued, drop the knee down. Keep reaching the crown of the head away from the tailbone. Inhale, find a little more length. Exhale, a little more twist. Good, next inhale, rise, high crescent lunge. Drop the left foot down like warrior one foot, straighten the right leg, lift the right toes, just reach up, feel good. Exhale, long pyramid pose, fold over the right leg. Hands can come to the ground again if you have blocks, if you have something to bring the floor a little closer, you're always, always welcome to use it. But pull your right hip up and back, left hip down and forward. Little micro bend if you tend to lock out. Again, just feel the stretch. Let it feel good. Two more breaths right here. And then kind of a big movement. So let's prepare. We're going to lift the back heel so you're in like lunge. Ground into the right foot. We'll inhale to one leg mountain. So left leg is going to lift. Arms reach up. Feel the power in that transition. 
Eagle pose, left arm under, left leg over. Tuck the toes, squeeze the hips. Lift the elbows high. Draw everything towards the midline. Steady drishti, steady gaze. For three. Two. Inhale, come back one leg mountain. Exhale, standing split. Hands to the ground, left foot high. You can stay in standing split. Handstand might feel better. Maybe some handstand hops, just a little bit of play, a little bit of fun. You have about five breaths. So strong, you guys. So many options. Good. We're going to meet in standing split. So the left leg is lifting high. Slight bend in your right knee. Tap the left knee to the right calf. Inhale back to standing split. Exhale, knee to calf. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, knee to calf. Let's do two more. Inhale, splits. Exhale, tap. Inhale, split. Exhale, tap. This time, inhale, standing split. Exhale, bring the knee to the calf. And then lower the left shin all the way down to the ground. Walk the hands back. Drop your butt down so you're set up for half Lord of the Fishes. Sole of the right foot is on the ground. Right hand behind the back. Left arm reaches to the sky and then take the twist. So left elbow outside, right thigh. Or you can just hug the knee in. With your inhale, spine length. And with your exhale, twist. Three more breaths here. Enjoy it. Let it feel good. We want to take a nice, easy counter twist to the left. Both hands next to the left hip. Forehead drops down to the ground. Breath in and breath out. Inhale, press back up. We'll make our way back to downward facing dog. Vinyasa if you want it. Skip it if you don't. Do what's going to make you feel good, feel empowered, feel kind, feel strong. One more side to go. Inhale, knees bend, heels lift. Exhale, step walk, float your feet forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up, grow tall. Exhale, hands to your heart. Chair pose, last one, drop your hips. Hands to your heart, take your twist, left side. Pull your belly towards your spine. Find this twist from the base of your ribcage. Three more breaths. Try to keep the breath slow and steady. And then gaze at the feet. Lift the right heel. Lift the whole right foot. Pause there. And then with control, step back. Twisted crescent lunge. Knee can stay lifted or drop down. Find the twist. Split the arms. Take a bind. Three breaths here. Good, next inhale, high crescent, reach the arms up. Drop the right foot down like warrior one, straighten the left leg, reach up. Exhale, pyramid pose, fold over the left leg. Draw the left hip up and back. And feel the stretch in the hamstring, the left outer hip, and adjust your stance if you need to. Maybe a little shorter feels a little bit better. Your neck can just totally relax. Your head can hang. Little bit of a bend in the knees if you hyperextend. Good, coming into that big movement, lift the back heel, ground into the front foot, one leg mountain. Use your strength, lift the leg up, enjoy the power. And then Garudasana, right leg over, right arm under. Twist everything up. Focus your gaze. 
Three deep breaths. Unwind, come back, one leg mountain, left leg lifts. Standing split, right leg to the sky, hands to the ground. You have your options here, so take what feels good. So strong breath is sitting wherever you are. If you don't nail that handstand today, find kindness. Awesome, you guys will be in standing split. The right leg is high. Take a full breath in. Slight bend in your left knee. Right knee taps left calf. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, knee to calf. Inhale, split. Exhale, knee to calf. Two more. Inhale, split. Exhale, squat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squat. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, knee to the calf, stay. Lower the shin all the way down, slightly to the pinky toe side of the foot. Walk the hands back, drop the hips down. Adjust as you need to when you're there. If you need to straighten the right leg, you can. Left hand behind the back, right arm reaches to the sky. Full inhale, get long. Exhale, twist. Sardha Matsya Andrasana, half lord of the fishes pose. Inhale, find some length. Exhale, move into the twist. Last couple breaths. Good last full breath in. And slowly unwind, counter fold to the right, hands next to the right hip, head drops down to the ground. Nice, easy forward fold. Good inhale, press yourself back up. Make your way to downward facing dog, taking the vinyasa if you want it and skipping it if you don't. And from downward facing dog, let's drop the knees to the mat. Bring your hips to your heels, find child's pose. Let the forehead come to the ground. Take a moment here. Pause, notice, and check in with yourself. Have you been able to find the beauty in this practice, find the beauty in your body, even in the poses that were challenging for you? Walk both of your hands to the right side of the mat. Draw your left hip back in space and breathe into the left side of your body. Bring your hands back through center. Walk them to the left side. Right hand comes on top of the left. Right hip pulls back. Breathe here. Come back through center. And then roll all the way up to a seat. Drop your hips to one side. Swing the feet out in front of you. And we'll just do a little bit of boat before our back bends because boat is always really fun. And because I think we can go on boats now recreationally. I think we're allowed. So lift your chest. Reach your arms forward. Collarbone broad. Full inhale here. Exhale, low boat. Hover. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hover down. Three more. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Lower. Last one. Inhale, lift the chest. And then slowly lower for five, four, three, two, all the way down. Reach the arms overhead, full body stretch, point the toes. And then bring the soles of the feet to the ground. We'll set up here for a bridge pose. Feet about hip distance apart. Press the heels into the ground. Inhale, lift your head. You can wiggle the shoulder blades under the body. You can kind of find robot arms and just keep them next to the hips. But lift your chin away from your chest. Press your chest back towards your chin. And 
And then slowly lower, lift the heels. One vertebra at a time. Let the knees knock in. Feet come out wide. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Round number two, we'll do three. Feet back the hips distance. If you want wheel, you can go. I'm gonna cue one more bridge. Feet ground down, hips lift up. Five breaths once you get to the back bend of your choice. Last two breaths. With control, lift your heels slowly lower. Knees in, feet wide, breath in. And breath out. Last call for back bends is your choice. Stick with bridge or Urdhva Dhanurasana. You have eight breaths when you get there. It's a bridge day for me. Slow, steady, full, deep breaths, just like when we started this practice. Halfway there. At the end of your eighth breath, slowly coming down for Supta Baddha Konasana, let the soles of the feet touch. Let the knees fall out to the side. You can bring one hand to your belly, other hand to your heart. And I want you to take a moment right now in this posture, in this place in your practice to think about a place in your life this last week where maybe you looked at the beauty in the situation even if it was harder to find it. And come back to that. Know that you have that power. Know that you have that ability to tap into that space. Bring the hands to the outsides of the thighs. Draw the knees towards each other. And then find happy baby pose. Soles of the feet to the sky. You can rock a little side to side. You can straighten one leg and then the other. And then pull the knees into the chest. So we'll start to rock forward and backward. We'll rock to down dog just to make our way to pigeon. If you know that you want to take pigeon on your back, then just stay there and move into it from there. Otherwise, down dog is where we meet. We'll start with the right leg. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, right knee, right wrist. Drop the shin down. Walk the left leg back along on the mat. Lift the chest, broaden the collarbone. And then exhale, settle in. And find a place where this pose feels good. So pigeon, for a lot of us, we either have a love relationship with it or a hate relationship with it. And if you're in pigeon and the whole time you just want to get out, it feels really bad on your knee especially, take it on your back. Or play around with moving that front heel a little closer to your left hip. Find a place where you can really find ease. Relax the shoulders, the mouth, the jaw. For five more breaths. Last two breaths in your pigeon pose. And start to walk the hands back towards the body. Lift your heart. Take a big breath in. Fill up with kindness. And then exhale downward facing God. So you can pedal out the feet. You can circle the right leg. Flip your dog. Maybe a vinyasa will feel good. Not too many of them today. Not usually too many of them in any of my classes. But we'll find down dog. And then we'll take pigeon pose on the left. Inhale, left leg lifts high. Exhale, draw it through, lay it down. Right leg comes back. And then fold. And pigeon is definitely a pose where you may feel a pretty significant difference between one side and the other. So acknowledge if that's the case and adjust as needed if so. Should feel this pose more in the hip than the knee. So can't emphasize that enough if the left knee is feeling pain. 
chat with me after class. We'll figure out something that will work for you a little bit better. See if we can adjust the pose. Five more breaths here. Last two breaths. Walk the hands back. Big breath in. Open the chest. Downward facing dog. Again, circle out the hip. Pedal the feet. One last chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. And then from down dog, drop the knees to the mat, hips to the heels. Drop your hips to one side, swing the feet out in front of you. We'll just find one seated forward fold here. So Pachimottanasana, if you'd like, legs straight out in front of you. For me, I'm going to take it wide-legged. Toes towards the shins, knees and toes straight towards the sky. Pelvis tilts forward, so if you have a bowl of ice cream sitting in your pelvis, you're going to dump the ice cream in front of you so you can reach it with your mouth. Nice big breath in. And then maybe you fold. For me, like the real reason I do yoga is so that one day I can get to the ice cream that just spilled out of my pelvis. Big goals. Three more breaths. Slowly rise up. Bring the legs together. Come all the way down onto your back. Draw the knees into your belly. Give yourself a hug. Squeeze everything in. As you exhale, spinal twist. Drop your hips. Shift your hips slightly to the left. Let the knees fall to the right. Arms out wide into a T. Gaze over the left shoulder. And bring the knees back into the belly. Reset the hips. Exhale, let them fall to the opposite side. And come back through center. Squeeze the knees into the chest one final time. And we'll move into our final posture. And it's your choice. You can take Shavasana or you can take seated meditation. But choose your option and make your way there. Find a place where you can stay in stillness for three minutes. It's not too long. I know this is harder at home because there's so much that you can start to do right now. But just give yourself permission to just stay here to rest. And start to let the heart rate return to a nice, slow, resting pulse. Let the breath become natural. Let the back side of the body be heavy. And when that to-do list starts to pop into your head, acknowledge that it is there. And then just let it go. Two more minutes. Complete stillness.
Some people choose to see the ugliness in this world. I choose to see the beauty. To believe that there is an order to our days and a purpose. Slowly begin to deepen the breath. Start to invite small movement into the body. Start to wiggle the fingers, the toes, make circles with the wrists, the ankles. And you can find a full body stretch or draw the knees into the chest if you need one more hug. Gently roll to the right side, pause there. Find one last moment of stillness. Gently bring yourself back to a nice, easy, seated pose. Bring your hands to your heart center. Lift your heart into your thumbs, bow your head. And honor yourself for carving this time out of your day. As always, it's a true honor to share in this practice with all of you. And the light within me loves and honors the light within each and every one of you. Namaste.